Alrighty, crypto and currency currently. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we are back looking at crypto coming to the channel, anticipate more stocks and commodity, uh, you know, news and analysis videos uh, coming forward as we get through the schedule here. Uh, currently rotating through some of the main coins we used to post on a regular basis here. We have XLM real quick. We're going to get into Bitcoin eventually. We're going to browse through coin market cap. Perhaps some uh, other interesting coins may present themselves as well. I do these videos on the fly. No planning, no script. I just go with the flow of crypto and watch out for robo. And we also have an article regarding the uh, United States Air Force partnering with a pre-existing entity in the crypto sphere here to uh, use blockchain technology to improve their current budgeting and accounting systems. So fundamentally, there are still reasons to be bullish on upside for the crypto space in the longer term, in my opinion. And uh, technically, we uh, perhaps do see some instances of bottoms forming, though we still need further confirmations to be sure we do anticipate continued sideways and or downside for a, uh, you know, potential extended periods of a months here before we can fully solidify a bottom and begin reversing back to the upside. But after that long winded intro here, we're looking at XLM uh, trying to find itself back above a key support level. It would appear 11 cents 0 0.1185 is the horizontal level we need daily candles opening and closing above to reconfirm as support. And then we can consider potentially investing that 20% support based investment ratio at that 11 cent level. Uh, however, technically until confirmed uh, as support, it is resistance and down below eight cents is where we do anticipate potential continued interaction toward if bearish robos remain uh, or we fail to solidify uh, kind of support where we are currently. So uh, we need that support confirmation there to, uh, to further sort of solidify that level. We need two of our chosen three robos returning to a bullish state, similar to a couple instances throughout uh, last year here, looking at XLM uh, pretty much going back from now all the way to pretty much this time last year. Uh, bearish robos have saved us from several instances of 50% corrections that have followed. Bullish robos have allowed us to see, you know, 63, 37, and 14 and a half percent in upside, respectively. So we will invest 50% uh, when two of our chosen three robos return to a bullish state. Um, we will also be considering uh, bullish robos for Bitcoin because if Bitcoin is still bearish, uh, according to engineering robo, then we may be slightly more hesitant uh, jumping in when altcoins are giving these confirmations. And that remaining 30% can be invested when we finally find ourselves above this solid descending trend line, whenever that may be. I do believe once we are free from it, we can be more comfortably bullish on some continued gains here. In the immediate short term, I guess we can visualize potentially this uh, more local uh, downtrend line there. We are not eager to jump in uh, at investing based on the breakout confirmation from it. I just would like to see how it would play out visually. But we're going with the flow of crypto and we're watching out for Robo. Let me know uh, down below your thoughts on XLM currently. Uh, but browsing the crypto sphere here, it would appear green is to be seen. We have some nice gains from some of the major projects in the space. Um, so even during this time of extreme fear and downside, there will be uh, brief rallies upwards to the upside and brief windows of sideways consolidation. I do believe accumulation will be occurring for the kind of next few months here. Looking at the uh, trending coins, perhaps we can see uh, good old uh, the unpronounceable, unfathomable, the coin that shall not be named. Just kidding, who cares? Luna Classic crashing to next to nothing. Quite the hilarious uh, event involved. Got Solana uh, up there trending as well. 26% in upside over the last seven days, up just about 9% in the last day here. Uh, technically, bearish robos are in play ever since uh, the beginning of April there. And it would appear engineering robo members have been saved from this most recent 73% in downside that has occurred over the last couple months. 
and we are just patiently waiting for support interactions and bullish robos to return. Watch out for support off of $23.78. That seems to be a nice level we've held kind of back in uh, 2021 there. Bullish support off of it would be nice to see. We, were, we are looking for those confirmations first. We are not eager to jump in at this level until those confirmations have been met. The strongest level of support down below, though, if we fail to hold $23, is $3. That is going to be the strongest horizontal level waiting for us, unless we can find a bounce kind of anywhere else. So 20% can be invested in at support once that has been further solidified. Once two of our chosen three robos return to a bullish state, you can invest that 50% engineering robo based investment ratio and we've seen hundreds of percentages in gains since bullish confirmations so once they return we can potentially anticipate some upside um, and that remaining 30 percent can be invested when we find ourselves above this solid descending trend line this dashed descending trend line has been visualized in the immediate short term here just to see how it plays out uh, so today's article is titled U.S. Air Force Taps Simba Chain to Develop Budgeting and Accounting System. And so Simba Chain is a cloud-based blockchain as a service platform enabling users across a variety of skill sets to implement decentralized applications, revolutionizing smart contracts by making them simple and accessible and giving freedom to choose and change blockchains quote unquote for many years the united states military has been experimenting with blockchain in a number of settings to enhance its operations we've talked about this on the channel prior now the u.s air force is adopting blockchain into its budgeting and accounting processes the co-founder and president of simba chain said that the firm and the u.s air force anticipate the project will have beneficial influence on transparency and efficiency while also assisting them in determining the return on investment from items they acquire frequently. With a quote reading, we have been working with the Air Force for the past four years on various implementations. We are excited to move out of the pilot and proof of concept phases, no pun intended, to more production environments, Air Force is definitely the leader in blockchain adoption for the, the Department of Defense. Um, and so, lots going on here in the crypto sphere. Still reasons to be bullish on a longer-term uptrend intact, in my opinion. Uh, the United States military, composed of the Marines, Coast Guard, Army, Navy, Air Force, and Space Force, Half of these branches have previously announced major plans to utilize blockchain technology or other forms of digital assets. So find this article in the description, but I do believe this is yet another instance why I find it very difficult to be bearish on crypto. Uh, finally, taking a look at Bitcoin here, it would appear plowing to and through these key levels, never fear. We have not been suggesting jumping in at them heavily because we are looking for continued interaction with them over the following several months here. Uh, due to the soon to be revealed fear zone, you are suggested to be accumulating Bitcoin within a much larger range that will play out. Uh, though moving forward, we will need far more uh, bullish confirmations to be met for us to consider some uh, some upside here uh, some prolonged kind of upside moving forward sideways may play out so we could pump we will likely dump pump again dump again and then trade sideways until potentially the end of this year into next year kind of closer toward the end of this uh, solid descending trend line so you already know 20 percent can be invested in at support once that has been further solidified 30 percent once we are free from this down trend line and that remaining 50% can be invested when two of our chosen three robos return to a bullish state. We've got the buy four, buy two, and early bird robos in play. Those are the kind of three most forgiving robos. So maybe once we see either that buy two or early bird return, we may be able to anticipate some upward price action. Uh, though right now we are a tad more, uh, you know, perhaps bearish than not. Uh, continued sideways and volatility may play out. Uh, this early bird in play back in May has been invalidated, so we will need to see another early bird present itself and then combine it with a second bullish robo for us to uh, use that confirmation. Uh, but never fear, the FOMO and fear zones are here. 
accumulate here during times of extreme fear. Go, oh no, when Robo says there's FOMO. So, you know, yo, uh, right now, currently correlating with 45% uh, in downside relative to previous fear zone interactions. Uh, at the moment, if we fail to hold what is uh, previous all-time highs met back in 2017, consolidation along it for the next uh, kind of several months here uh, would not be uh, impossible uh, for us. And that would be bullish, in my opinion, for the longer-term uptrend intact, though we are anticipating perhaps a rather aggressive interaction with a, uh, drum roll please, $10,800 Bitcoin, why that might be possible is because of a previous 84% correction that occurred from uh, 2017 all-time highs. 84% in downside over the following year had to play out before we began to uh, sort of reverse and then trade toward the upside. Uh, so right now we are just hoping to hold along this support level. Hopefully buy pressure can come into play. While we are in the fear zone, you can be slowly buying Bitcoin in calculated increments with a longer term uptrend intact. We do anticipate exiting the fear zone eventually and getting to that FOMO zone still sitting near $190,000 per Bitcoin. Entry into the FOMO zone may look similar to 2017, though we will not know until we get there. So. Let me know down below your thoughts on Bitcoin and cryptocurrency currently. Thank you so much for hearing my analysis. Uh, let me know in the comment section a coin you'd like to see in the next video uh, or a stock as well. Thank you so much for tuning in and tune in for the next one.